Welcome to the Summer Center here on the campus of Bluffton University, where WSN brings you the second of our Division II district semifinal matchups. This one would be the St. Mary's Rough Riders, Cali Yoder, Yoder's team, 14 and 9. They were 7 and 2 in the Western Buckeye League. And their opponent, the number 20 ranked Liberty Benton Eagles from Julie Todd's team, is 19 and 4. They were 8 0 in the Blanchard Valley Conference, winning that conference yet again this particular season. My name is Mark Shines. My players will be played by some play alongside Miles Holiday. Miles, we know the winner's going to get Shawnee in here on Thursday night. St. Mary's 14 and 9, 7 and 2 in the Western Buckeye League. We've got a couple all league players we can look at. Yeah, Mark, where else would you rather be than right oh, here, right boy. now? Boy, th this is going to be a fantastic matchup. St. Mary's fantastic tradition of volleyball there, and everybody knows what Liberty Benton does, right? Seven years in a row they've won the <laughs> BBC. Hey, they might as well call it the Benton Volleyball Conference, there right? You go. They dominate yeah. it. Is there anyone in this state that does a better job than Julie Todd at, at Liberty Benton? Two state titles, and of course, Kelly Yoder at St. Mary's does a good job as well. We got a great matchup. Well, we do, and if you want to look at uh, kind of the history of this particular matchup, these two teams played a year ago in the district semifinals, and Liberty Benton won that one three to one. And uh, a lot of players returning for both schools from that particular event. Yeah, we had uh, some great firepower in the first match here tonight. Mm. Boy, this is not short of great firepower as well. If you're looking at for big hitters, look at Liberty Benton, uh, Sophia Barbara, uh, number 10. She's hitting 326 on the year. That's impressive stuff. And, of course, uh, St. Mary's, they got some big hitters as well, led by Bryn Clark, the first team player in the WBL with 261 kills. It's 261 kills, and that was done in 71 sets. Our set sponsor this evening, our first set is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Our officials this evening on the stand, our R1 is John Grove. Our R2 on the floor is Jeff Harvey. And our two line judges are Michael Quinlan and Don Bryant. We mentioned the winner gets Shawnee. The, they defeated... Uh, Salina this evening, 25-17, 25-20, and 25-23 to run their record to 23-1 and on this season. That will be in this gymnasium on Thursday evening. We were told 7 o'clock miles. Uh, I think that's what it said on the, on the OHSAA website. Most <laughs> right. of these have been 6 o'clock, so you better check your, if you're planning on coming, check your, your uh, schedule, your team, your friends, whoever, and find out what time it actually is. But it the website says 7 o'clock. Right, and make sure you find out because that's yeah. a match you're not going to want to miss anything of. Here is Ashley Nuss, the libero for St. Mary's to serve. They are in the black uniform. She wears the white jersey, and they are on the right side of your screen. Liberty Benton also in dark jerseys this evening. Their libero wears red. That is Caitlin Erdeljack, and there's our first kill of the game. Then we'll go to Liberty Benton. That's Lauren Gherkin. Not to be outdone by anybody on her team, the player of the year in the BBC, 286 kills. Her and Barbara, fantastic duo. Lindsay May serves that one long. We are tied at one. And here comes the red-shirted Caitlin Erdeljack, the libero for Liberty Benton into the game, and Lily Rammel will serve. One of those all-around stat stuffer type players. She gets an ace. That was nastiness by Rammel. It started going towards Erdeljack and then curved at the last second. Kind of handcuffed Gherkin. She and Bryn Clark both had 43 aces to lead this team. That does. That ball moves like a knuckleball, doesn't it? It sure Ooh, does. We've got a great angle. To look at that one. Here's the hit. Played in the back row by Nuss. And it's free balled over. Stayed inside the antenna. That was a tight one. Set. That hit was by Lauren Gherkin. And they're going to free ball it over, this time by Sierra Graber. Set, hit. That point will go to Riley Nestrick. Oh, she missed it. My mistake. It is 3-1. Started thinking that dove on the back line. It didn't come close. Here's the service again by Rammel. A little bit of a reprieve for Liberty Benton as Rammel was really handcuffing them with her serve. That knuckleball it is nasty. Here is Lauren Gherkin to serve. She has 24 aces this season. Tipped across by Reagan Putoff and illegal contact by Liberty Benton. 
by uh, St. Mary's. And Cora Dehart gets the block. 31 on a year for the freshman. What a bright future she has for Liberty Benton. Set, hit, point to Bryn Clark. And Bryn Clark, 261 kills on a year. The six-foot senior Lurks, looms large in the middle. Also can play well on the outside. Sylvia Weaker to serve. Set. That hit was by Cora DeHart. It doesn't look like the moment, the stage is too big for the freshman. Sometimes a freshman gets in uh, big matches and they kind of freeze up. Here's Josie Todd to serve. Not the case with DeHart. Back set Clark. And trying to tip it across with Sophia Barbara, but not able to. And we're looking at a, a five to four score. Here's Clark to serve again. Set. That hit was by Barbara. From the back row by Lauren Gherkin. Here's the set by Audra Clark. She pushes it over. That hit was by Sierra Graber. And Gherkin again from the back row. And winning the joust at the net will be Sophia Barbara. That's uh, a shame for St. Mary's because Jenna Fortman early in that point had an unbelievable effort in the back row to get it up in the air. Ertl Jack will serve. Ball rolls across the net by Maddie Steger. And then the kill that will be chalked up by Lindsey May. Uh, Lindsey May, third in the BBC, 157 kills, but this shows you how deep this roster is. Audra Clark will set. Not close enough to the net for her teammate to do anything with it, though. And his count goes to 7-5 on our Finley Truck and RV scoreboard. Ertl Jack again. That shot was short by Graber. It is 8-5. And Ertl Jack will serve again. It kind of cut in between, right? Do you just go mm -hmm. ahead and pass it over or do something with it? Try to do something with us coming from behind. Tough angle. Roll across the net by Maddie Steger. And that's Block. Climbing the ladder with Sierra Graber to send it back. Now she is very familiar with doing that at the net. 40 blocks on the year. She's able to get second team in the WBL because of those efforts. Lily Ramble entered. Now both teams very active at the yeah. net early. Here's Ellie Kraft to serve, sophomore. That hit was by Celeste Taylor. They got lots of people scoring points for them, oh, don't they? they? Sure if you do. look at the number of kills people have. Well, they're able to do it because of Hanny Wells, mm. 596 assists. That went all the way cross court. She can do a great job of holding the defense in position, lets Maddie, her hitters get free. Maddie Amstetz served that ball. Gherkin got a hand on it. Lauren went up to get that one, but it's blocked. Good play. Keeping the ball alive was Amstutz. Free balled over by Graber. And then played over again by May. Gherkin with the left hand that time and gets a point for it. <laughs> How about Gherkin yeah. after the point? Sheepish little smile. I'll use the lefty to take it. And in my uh, eyesight, Lindsey May wears number nine, Celeste Taylor number four, and those numbers look alike up here to me, but that has been Lindsey May wearing number nine in the front row, and that will make it 10-7. I should be able to figure out a third-team all-conference player, shouldn't I? <laughs> Here's Sophia Graber to serve at 10-7. Set, Gherkin. And she gets a point. Didn't get a lot on it, but enough to get a point out of it. Yeah, Hanny Wells looked at her and kind of patted on her chest like, my bad on the pass, but 
you know, sometimes as a hitter, you're not going to get the sweet spot every time. you got to do something with it. And Gherkin was able to. Here is Hanny Wells to serve. Set. Tipped over. And they kept it alive. Really nice shot by Weekert. And that time they get a point out of it. Wow, how smart was that? Mm. Caught Liberty Benton out of sorts. Feeling good about themselves getting it up in the air again. And then uh, Ramble just kind of dumped it in. A little peekaboo action. This is the only person to score on service through the first rotation in the form of Ashley Nuss. She played that ball right there, too. And then it was hit across and rolled across by Sylvia Weekert. 11-9. So again, Ashley Nuss being able to score. The other five players in their first rotation did not score on service. So it's 11-9. Make it 12-9. Oh, those service errors will kill you every time, won't they? I don't know how coaches can stomach it. I would, <laughs> I would be pulling <laughs> yeah. my hair out. Here is Lindsay May. And her serve is long. I'll see well, your free point and well, check you with another one. Co coaches talk a lot about the risk-reward from service. Do, they do. If, if we pound enough hard ones, maybe we'll hit one long or in the net once in a while, but we put you in an awkward spot or get an ace with our serve, we'll, we'll take a, enough positive ones out of that. Here's the serve by Ramble. Ace, chalk one up for her. It's 12-11. Right on cue. You're talking about aces, yeah. and she delivers. And she's got two of them now tonight, 43 before tonight. So she's now the team leader with 45. Brent Clark has 43. Here's another one. But she hits it to Ertl Jack this time. And that shot by Gherkin is... Long? Yes, it was. We're tied at 12. Oh, if this match goes like this back and forth, we are in for a doozy. Ramble again. Here's the set. And Gurkha just pushes that one to the back row. That hit was by Reagan Putoff. And then the point will give that one to Riley Nestrick. 13-12. Oh, Hanny Wells, Alyssa Hanny Wells was second team mm -hmm. BBC. Yeah. And she is just amazing with her placement on her sets. Whoever was first team, oh boy. <laughs> Set, hit, missed. That was by Bryn Clark. 14-12. It's Audra Clark's set. Gherkin plays that one in the back row. There's Nestrick again. Nuss will set this time. And Nestrick again. Erdl Jack got to it and kept it alive. And then a nice place for the ball. Makes it 15-12. Liberty Benton. Now both these teams, Mark, you just can't ever take a deep breath and relax before that ball actually hits the wood. Here's Lauren Gherkin again. That was Bryn Clark, and she's going to get a point out of it. 15-13. Yeah, big point for St. Mary's. It looked like the rebent was starting to creep away. Eagles up by a pair on our Finley truck and RV scoreboard. This is weaker to serve. And Nestrick gets a point for her effort, 16-13. Yeah, tough to run a block against Sophia Barbara. She just can climb up in the air. Gets on top of the block and uses it, goes off the hands for a point. Here's Josie Todd, 5'4 junior with 20 aces this season. And she gets another one, 17-13. Yeah, so many... People with the last name of Todd associated <laughs> with this Liberty Benton program. Might as well call them the Todd Squad. Here's Josie. Bryn Clark will get to hit that ball. And that was Gherkin. 
And then that kill will go to Sierra Graber. 17-14. We played 31 points and have not had a timeout as Bryn Clark will serve. A good use of the block by Graber right there, keeping her team in it. 18-14 as Bryn Clark missed the back line. How about the linesman getting out of the way, yeah. showing a little athleticism. Michael Quinlan, one of the veteran officials in our area. Here's Caitlin Erdeljack. Audra Clark sets Ooh. to Erdeljack. Does it stay in play? It does. That was Graber. Nuss will set this time, and it'll be free balled over by Reagan Putoff. Set. It's Barbara hit it. Yeah, court coverage outstanding for both teams so far. That was Handy Welsh trying to surprise everybody. And then May. Long point. And Liberty Benton wins the long point to go up 19-14. And we are going to get our first time out. This one will go to the St. Mary's Rough Riders. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Summer Center. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. And right now, that's 19 in favor of Liberty Benton and 14 for St. Mary's, hence the timeout by Kelly Yoder of St. Mary's. And Mark, in our first match, we had two unbelievable liberos, and that theme is continuing. Yes. Uh, the, the work done by the ladies in the odd jerseys are just fantastic so far. You, you talked in, at the break. You really need to have great libero play to go deep in the tournament. You do. Here's service by Liberty Benton. And coming out of that service, we get a kill by Maddie Steger. Yeah, she was denied a moment ago. That time, just keep knocking at the door. Eventually, you'll, you'll no, knock it open, and Steger does that. 19-15 as Ellie Kraft will serve. She has 30 aces this year. We put her third on the team. Pass blocked at the net. Really nice block by Graber. Sierra makes it 19-16. Sierra Graber, 40 blocks on the year. Might not have an easier one, though, in that one. Timeout did the Rough Riders good. They got it back to just three. Here's Earl Jack playing it up front to Hanny Wells. Tipped across by Barbara. And then Graber. And it's three consecutive points, 19-17. Yeah, Lily Rammel's not going to get credit for the kill, but she should get credit for that point. Diving to get that ball back up for St. Mary's. Great effort. Both teams, elite level stuff with the effort tonight. Here's Ellie Kraft again. Good serve from her. Back set, May. That's Barbara, excuse me. May hit that one over. Hanny Wells with the block. And we got illegal contact. We do prolonged contact is the call. 2017. That was impressive stuff by Hanny Wells. Going on one, ball over top the net. Yeah, sporting those, uh, would you call those pink sneakers? What <laughs> yeah, would you call I'm, those? I've looked at it. The, the shoe colors are <laughs> kind of vibrant. Would that be a proper term? Yeah, sneaker game strong at Liberty Benton. Set. Oh, no, well, Henny Wells tried to surprise everybody, but that didn't work. And instead, we're going to get a kill that comes from Maddie Steger. Yeah, Steger. 18. Kind of caught Gherkin uh, between her jump and going up. They had her hands separated. Takes advantage of it. For the last five points have gone the way of the Rough Riders since the timeout. And the serves will be Graber. And almost hit that ball to us. 2019. If it goes in the stands, do you get to keep it? Yeah, I don't know whether you can. You die. should, right? You should, yeah. yeah. I don't think with expenses for volleyballs, that's probably going to happen. You're going to have and a timeout. Yeah, this time we're going to get a Liberty Benton timeout. The lead's getting away from them. It's 2019, Liberty Benton. Here comes St. Mary's. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.
We have a spike sponsor in our second match this evening. It's Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. It is 20 to 19 in favor of Liberty Benton. Five of the last six points have gone the way of the Rough Riders, and they're going to try to get this thing evened up on this play, and they do. Tied at 20. Yeah, it looked like Lindsey May just kind of th thought too hard about that one instead of getting it over. St. Mary is trying to take a lead. They have they led at four to three, five to four. That was their last lead was five four. Handy well sets. Kirkin shot came back at her. So did that one. And that was May that pushed it across finally. Kirkin oh. blocked that one. Oh, it's a block party here at Bluffton, <laughs> isn't it? Handy Wells sets Gherkin, and she gets a point. Can stay in. It did, I guess. I'm looking to see. Yeah, there's our line judge call. It is 21-20 now in favor of the Liberty Benton Eagles in set number one. I I'm with you because Coach Yoder, she yeah. signaled out. But we can't trust her. <laughs> she wanted and to. And Handy Wells with a out. really nice serve. Doesn't get an ace out of it, but really put Ray Riders in a tough spot. Erdl Jack had to play that block. And May, and really nice effort, but it went just a little long on the effort by Ashley Nuss. Yeah, it was Erdl Jack, though, that saved the point for Liberty Benton, digging it out. You could see Coach Yoder asking the official to have a timeout left, and the response was yes. So we're going to get a break for just a moment. You can check our website, WSN.TV, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. Where will Miles, Randy, and Ken be on Friday night playoff football? Well, uh, we're going to be at Shawnee High School because we got that great matchup. Ayersville comes to town to take on uh, uh, Lima Central Catholic. and. Boy, I was at Lima Central Catholic practice today, and they have speed everywhere, Mark. Do they ever, yep. Scott Pauldy's done a nice job with that program, and I think they're, what, uh, six and three? Is that where they're at right now? Six I know they had a game three. they yep. couldn't play because Richmond Heights didn't show up. That'll be an interesting matchup. That will air on Friday night. Maybe we'll get some more other broadcast information to you as this one goes along. Here's Hanny Wells to serve. Her team's up two. St. Mary's has now used both of their timeouts, and we're going to get a legal contact. We are 23-20. Mm, that's a tough call this part of the first set. Here's Handy Wells, two points away from an opening set victory. And it's going to have to be free balled over. Handy Wells sets Gherkin. Money in the bank right there. Uh, just too easy, right? Great first pass. Get Gurkha in her sweet spot, and she delivers a massive kill in the middle. And here is Handy Wells with her team needing one point to take the opening set. Ramble sets that one, and it's hit long on the effort by Celia Weaker, and the opening set will go to the Liberty Benton Eagles 25 20. Set two coming up after this. Watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Second set coming up here from the Summer Center at Bluffton University. Second set is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lime, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Miles, it was taught, tied at 20, and the Eagles put the last five points on the board of set number one. Yeah, they sure did. Uh, just kind of established themselves really error-free the last portion of that first set. St. Mary's hung with them, and Mark, real impressed with both teams. Uh, one, scrambling to get balls back in the air. Two, the play at the net has been absolutely fantastic defensively. The winner will get Shawnee on Thursday evening here at the Summer Center. And getting our lineups in, our libero exchange just took place for the St. Mary's uh, Rough Riders. Liberty Benton, 
Well, they've been pretty good lately. They were state champions in 2019. They were state semifinals in 2021. Those are odd-numbered years, Miles. You know what that tells me when it's 2023? Uh, yeah. Watch out for the Liberty Benton Eagles maybe, huh? You, you like the odd. Yeah. And they will get a service to get this one started by Celeste Taylor. Well, it shows you that it's a program, right? Yes. They, they haven't just been reliant on one dominant player, even though they had Karis Will. She was dominant, yeah. but it's a program that is built – to continue right. to be successful. It seems to me that Sophia Barber, Riley Nestrick, Lauren Gurk, and Hanny Wells, Caitlin Earljack have been playing for like this decade it, it, and then more. I mean, it yeah. just seems like they've been there forever and their experience level for those seniors are outstanding on this particular program. Yeah, they haven't lost any players to free agency. <laughs> That's correct. There must be enough NIL money there don't have to worry about <laughs> it. Here's our opening serve here in set two and Brink Clark rolled that one across. And then Nestry gets a hit. This will be Nuss, and just free balls it over. Hanny Wells will set Gherkin. And Clark again. And Nestry has to free ball that one over. Back set on the slide. And that will be a point for Bryn Clark. So first point of set number two will go to St. Mary's. Yeah, how about the athleticism of Clark starting in the middle? Come on that little wheel, sliding behind, and delivers a big point. Here's Lily Rammel to serve. Ooh. Oh, an ace for her. That's her third of the evening. She had two in the opening set. That thing's got some serious knuckleball movement, doesn't it? And we've got the best angle yes. you could have for it right behind this Liberty Benton back. That's blocked by Clark, but it's blocked out of bounds. So it's 2-1 St. Mary's. And Lauren Gherkin to serve. Future Bowling Green State University basketball Falcon. Yeah, and she's got some uh, ability to jump off the floor. Uh, I know her dad, Ben, never had that ability. <laughs> Hope Ben's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> ben can shoot, though. Oh, and just missing the sideline was a touch. Yeah, Liberty yeah. Benton is trying to make yep. that argument. LB call in touch and didn't get the call, so Sylvia Weekert will serve. Man, I got to keep playing through, though. You're not going to get every call. Ertl Jack overpass, and there's Clark to put, her, we'll put it away. Yeah, rare mistake by yep. Ertl Jack, and Clark's going to say some free pizza. Just couldn't quite uh, pass it correctly that time on the good service. And here's another service opportunity that's long. So it's 4-2 St. Mary's. And uh, Josie Todd enters, 5-4 junior. She has the only ace in the opening set for Liberty Benton. Yeah, gave him a spark in that first set, didn't she? <laughs> Back set. And kill. Brent Clark was a little bit quiet in the opening set, but not in this set. I think it's a concerted effort to get her going. I would think that's accurate. Here is Bryn to serve. She played a ball that her teammates were yelling out. And that shot's blocked at the net. Kenny Wells with the block. Now how about that? A setter that can get active at the net. Mark one return to sender. Kenny Wells. Does she do anything wrong? She does not. Here's Ertl Jack. That hit was by Maddie Steger. And set. Audra Clark sets it. And again, that ball is hit by Graber, and she gets a point. So it's 6-3 now in favor of the Riders. A great response by St. Mary's, losing set one. Didn't hang their head. They have come out on fire in set number two. Now the Kraft serves. This will be just played over by Kraft. By, uh, yeah, by Kraft. Set again, and did they keep it inside the antenna? They did. Good play. Hannah Barber's, Hannah Wells is sets, and then the point will go to 
Was that Sophia Barbara? I believe it was. Yeah, number it was, 10. was, was Sophia Barbara got the lucky little flop over top the net. You know how you get that? You hit it really hard. You hit it really hard. Hanny Wells. No, I'm sorry. That was the service by Maddie Amstutz. And the block is touched in the back row, and that will be a point for Liberty Benton also as they trail by one now. The Foreman's teammates tried to yell at her that Letta's going to go out, but she'd already started her dive. And then you got to complete it. Otherwise, the ball just touches you and you got nothing on it. Here's right. missed a serve at 7 5 at St. Mary's. And Sierra Graber. Senior volleyball player, and he's been in the program for years as well. We talked about Liberty Benton and their veteran lineup. And good play by Nuss. Watched her play for a lot of years, too. And it's long. It is long, and St. Mary's gets the point. Eight now, five. You can't blame Ger uh, Gherkin, though, trying to go on one. Defense was spread apart, had the open floor, just a little bit too much on it. Overpass and saying thank you for the point is Sylvia Wiekert. It is 9-5, and with that, Liberty Benton takes our first time out in set number two. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. And time out, Liberty Benton, as it's become a 9-5 St. Mary's lead. Their biggest lead of the evening. Annie Wells will set Gherkin in the middle. And then tip, but missing the sideline. A really good effort by Sylvia Weaker, but she missed it. That was a smart play. Yes, it was there, wasn't it? Yeah, saw the double block in front of her. Line was there, just a little bit too strong. Here comes Cora DeHart will play in the front row as Hanny Wells serves. Little Jack had to play that one. And then missing that one was weaker. She hit that one into the net that time. So a couple of points coming out of the timeout for Liberty Benton. I thought it was a smart set by Rammel. Mm. Going outside, defense was not ready for it. Annie Wells will serve. Here's weaker again, just free balls at this time. Ertle Jack will set. And what do we got? I don't think it went around. It did. Good call. 10-7, as Ashley Nuss will be the server in her white libero jersey. She has 14 aces this year. Back set, hit by May. And missing the sideline was weaker at that time and is now 10-8 in favor of St. Mary's. And in the serve will be Celeste Taylor. Tried to play us at the front row was Rammel. And then Clark hits it. And Bryn will get a point. 11-8. Well, every time it looks like Liberty Benton's going to start to make a move, St. Mary's answers. Keep this lead at three. And Lily Ramble will serve this ball. Set by Hanny Wells, pushed over by Gherkin. Nuss went and got that one. And tip for an open space and a good point. We'll go to Riley Nestrick. Placed the ball perfectly. 11-9 as Lauren Gherkin serves. And Rammel slow to get up, though, for St. She Mary's. She was, wasn't she? Uh, I think she's laboring with that lower right leg.
And she's going to have to come out of the match. Well, she has played well as a, one of the two setters this evening. And that right leg doesn't look very good, does it? No, not putting any pressure no. on it. Boy, you hate to see that happen, you know, especially at any time, but especially when you get into the tournament type season and you're playing as a senior. You've got your teams, all three of your teams aces. Now hopefully she gets back on the floor. Here's a set. Audra Clark will set that one. And then Riley Putoff pushes it over. Handy Wells sets. And then the point will go to Sophia Barbara. A good battle between Barbara and Bryn Clark. And Bryn just a little bit tardy on her rise. Lauren Gherkin serve again. That's Bryn Clark. And her shot missed the sideline, and we are tied at 11. How about the response now by Liberty Benton? Trailed yeah. this whole second set. Back set. Bryn Clark keeps it alive, and Nuss just free balls it. Back set. Yeah. Nuss almost got to that one, but a nice place for the ball by Cora DeHart. And they have come all the way back, take a one-point lead at 12-11. Somebody's going to have to rally St. Mary's now with Rammel off the floor. Set. That's the person you might want to go to. Bryn Clark's had a really nice second set, and that will tie it at 12. Three-point service by Lauren Gherkin. Knotted it up, and now the service this time will be by Sylvia Weaker. The shot's blocked by Clark. We don't give out MVPs per set, but if we did halfway through this one, Bryn Clark has played exceptionally well. Yeah, she's been fantastic, and that's what you want out of a senior leading the way. We're back tied now at 13 all. And this time, uh, Josie Todd is the one who entered. She will be our next server. Good serve from her. And going down the line, did she get it in? Sierra Graber did get a point. The defense was late getting over there. Playing in the middle. Has the line open. Go ahead and take it. Here's Bryn Clark, first team Western Buckeye League player with her 261 kills this season. And she's going to get an ace. That would be her 44th of the season, her first tonight. And the Riders have taken a two-point lead. Each team has used a timeout in the, this set. Audra Clark will set. And then not able to get it across was Maddie Steger. Actually, that is not accurate, is it? St. Mary's has not called a timeout yet in this set. The only timeout was taken by Liberty Benton. Well, a little bit of a timeout when uh, Rammel left yeah. the floor. Yeah. But not a called one. Officials will let her go out. Here's Caitlin Hurljack serve with her team down a point. And that kill will go to Lauren Gherkin. We're tied at 15. Well, how about the laser shot out of the right arm of Gherkin? Yeah. POI in the BVC this year. Hurdle Jack to serve again. And tipped across by Maddie Steger. And then May shot doesn't score for Liberty Benton. It does make a point for St. Mary's at 16-15. And entering will be Ellie Kraft. Rambles up trying to walk behind the bench down there as her serve misses at tied at 16. She's put a sleeve-like thing on her knee, hasn't she? Trying to, oh, she's trying to stretch it out, isn't she? She's got one of those uh, yeah. plyo bat, uh, one of those plyo uh, um, elastic things around the leg. Uh, good news, St. Mary's uh, rambles up and moving though. She's going to be back in. 
Kenny Wells will set. Gherkin in the middle, but that was hit right to Ellie Kraft. And then the point will go to Sierra Graber. So back and forth we go here in set number two. A high drama on set number two. The team's trying to hang in there. Good play by Jenna Fortman. She's the one who took Ramble's place. Earl Jack sets Hanny Wells, and that ball goes long, and the lead has gone to two for St. Mary's in this set. Well, Lindsay May just could never get on top of it. Mm. Earl Jack set again. Gherkin just pushes it to an open area that time. Found the open area in the back left corner. They showed the laser earlier in the set. That time, just a little push shot, deliver a point. Cora DeHart entered, and Maddie Amstutt served. Set in the middle, and hit it right into Ertl Jack. The hit was by Maddie Steger. Yeah, Ertl Jack kind of handcuffed on that one, caught in between. Here's Ashley Nuss. Amstutz plays it. Push to the back corner where Nuss has to go get that one. Oh, good diving play by Amstutz. And then the point ends up going to Lindsey May. Well, Lindsey May had an error on her hitting attack a couple points ago. That time she delivers for Liberty Button. Body Nestrick entered, and as she did so, to serve will be Celeste Taylor. Clark sets again, and Bryn Clark hits. And Bryn Clark will get yet another point in this set. Makes it 2018. Reagan put off enters. Hurdle Jack came back in in her libero position as well. St. Mary's trying to take set two and even this thing up. Audra Clark serves. And? I think they're going to call it yeah, lift. They did. So St. Mary's gets that point. They're up three. And we will get a St. Mary's, uh, excuse me, a Liberty Benton timeout with St. Mary's up three. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our sponsor for Spikes this evening is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And right now, what's happening is St. Mary's with a three-point lead in set number two. Audra Clark, the sophomore, will serve again. Set. Riley Nestrick shot is blocked and point goes to St. Mary's. 22-18. Well, every point that St. Mary's gets closer to 25, that belief continues to grow. And we're going to get a sub in the game, trying to break that. Vanessa Taylor will step in. You can't call timeout if you don't have one, so you run a sub in and kind of throw that uh, server off a bit. Back set Gherkin. Point, Lauren Gherkin scores. So the three lead drops to three, and Lauren Gherkin will now serve. Ball's played over that time by put off. Audra Clark will set. Graber hit that one. Oh, excuse me, that was Weaker hit that one. There's Bryn Clark. And then hitting it long was Vanessa Taylor. And it is 23-19. Back in the game will be Riley Nestrick, wearing number 14, and service this time by Sylvia Weaker. 
Kenny Wells sets. And that kill will go to Sierra Graber, and St. Mary's is a point away from taking the set. As Weaker will serve again, she has 19 aces this season. Henny Wells sets. Nuss will set this ball. And that will be a point. The put away was by Sierra Graber, and set number Two will go to the way of the St. Mary's Rough Riders. We're tied to the set apiece. We head to set number three, watching high school volleyball at WOSN. We move on to set three here at the Summer Center on the campus of Bluffton University. Set number three is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphos, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. St. Mary's comes back and has a really nice second set. Miles, they won 25-19. A lot of that was because they got the ball in the hands of, of Bryn Clark. Yeah, Bryn Clark, the senior, leads the way, right? First team WBL, keep feeding her. And how about the toughness of Lily Rammel, though, coming yes. back after the leg injury? About to say that she was back on the floor, and we'll see at what uh, success level she can perform at, but it's certainly good to see her back on the floor. You don't want a senior to leave a tournament game with, no. with an injury. You know, yeah, yeah, let, absolutely. You know, let, let them play it out. So yeah. that, that's a good sign. Yeah, it could be a Willis Reed moment, right? <laughs> Now, you know, a whole bunch of people have no idea what, we do, what we're talking about. You and I know. Yeah. There we go. All right, here's uh, Ashley Nuss to serve as we start set three. Each team's won a set. See how Liberty Benton responds to losing that set. And Bryn Clark, did she get it in? She did not. Looked for a long time. I wasn't sure if that got the sideline or not. It was called out. And Caitlin Earljack gets to serve. I like the idea, though. Get her going again early uh -huh. in this set. That was a, a point of emphasis in that second set. Well, got her going right there. It sure did. We're tied at one with that perfect set to bring Clark and to put away. Spikes are sponsored tonight by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Appreciate their sponsorship this evening as Audra Clark will go back to serve. Good serve from her. It's Hanny well set, and Nestrick hits. It is 2-1, Eagles. Yeah, Liberty Benton's done a really good job on that left-hand side, and they've had opportunities on the left-hand side. They've delivered more times than not. Here's Lauren Gherkin. Almost an ace for her, but it's played over. Here's Hurdle Jack. And this shot goes into the net from Lauren Gherkin. We're tied at two. Well, St. Mary's can well. really credit Nuss for getting that one up in the air on that serve. Well, it was time for Lily Ramble to rotate out because she was going to play in the front row. She just leaped off the bench to cheer her teammate right there. That leg looked pretty good. Here's a oh, shot that's blocked. Bryn Clark sent that one back. Uh, Clark construction building walls at the net since 2023. Here's Sylvia Weekert with her team up a point. And we're tied at three. Josie Todd's turn to serve as she plays the back row and Cora DeHart plays the front row. So time for Josie to enter and serve. And her serve is off. So it's 4-3 in favor of the Riders and and Clark gets to serve. She had an ace in the second set. A little bit shaky on service right now for both teams, Miles. Yeah, you see both uh, teams kind of getting a little bit tense. Just let it go. You, you want to be aggressive, so get it in. You served it in the net, nobody can do anything. Here's Riley Nestrick. Well, didn't serve in the net, but served it long, and point goes back to St. Mary's. And Ellie Kraft will serve with her 30 aces this season. 
Good sophomore year for her. Annie Barber, Annie Wells sets, and that point will go to, was that uh, Sophia Barbara? We're tied at five. That's Fortman again, trying to get dirty, get that ball back in the air for St. Mary's, unable to pancake it. The sophomore Maddie Amstutz will serve. She has 42 aces this season. Close to getting another one. Instead, get an illegal contact. And for the first time in this set, Liberty Benton scores on service. Well, it all starts with the serve, right? Fortman had a tough time getting it up in the air. And that's an ace. Fired that one right over the net. Her 43rd of the year and first tonight. And nobody wanted that one, right? Yeah. Just found the open spot. Got another one back to back. Well, Amsta, she is feeling it. As you Makes said. Eight five and we're gonna get a sub in the game. It looks like Sylvia Weekert entered on the dead ball, and Maddie Amstutz will serve again. Nuss had to go down to her knees to get that one and play it. And is that in? It is on the shot by Maddie Steiger. Steiger. 8-6. And Sierra Graber will serve. 23 aces for her this year. Second team all-conference in the Western Buckeye League. Annie Wells will set. It's now 8-7. Amstutz was caught in between. Do you just go ahead and pass it over, do something with it? Tried to roll it, just rolls right into the net. Amstutz plays. Gherkin hits the ball to the back row. It's 9 7 now. It's kind of unfair when you have a player like Gherkin that can hit it 100 miles an hour, but yet has the wherewithal to place it when she needs to. Alyssa Hanny Wells a turn to serve. Here's Ramble set. Nuss plays. And doubt on the hit by Lauren Gherkin was long. Makes it 9-8. Liberty Benton had the largest lead in the set at 8-5. And tightly contested through the first 17 points. And that one missed on the attempt to go cross court. 9-9. Nine, nine. Ashley Nuss to serve again. Four of the last five points have gone the way of the Rough Riders. And Lauren Gherkin. Oof, just got that yeah. back part of the line. From our angle, it's like a curveball, isn't it? It you know, sure it's is. Like it's headed to the center of the court, and then it just kind of hooks on to the left side. Got a really good angle to see that. Here's service by Earl Jack. Oof. <laughs> Bryn Clark says, hello, Caitlin Earl Jack. Yeah, Bryn Clark wants to know, do you like playing darts? Good, because you can beat a dartboard. And Audra Clark will serve, the sophomore. She has 302 aces this year. As she and Lily Rambles take turns serving. Hit the top of the net and got across. So Audra's set. No, oh, she dumped it over. This time she sets, and Bryn Clark scores. Yeah, how about Bryn Clark turning around and acknowledging the pass to her? She is dialed in. In sets two and three, she has become the dominant force in this uh, volleyball match. Sets two and three, almost carbon copies of each other, both teams inching along. Pushed over by Graber. Gherkin's oh, shot is blocked oh, by Clark. Oh. Clark construction strikes again. And her team is up 12-10. As Audra Clark will serve. Good serve from her. It's going to have to be roll shot over. And Bryn Clark takes the perfect set. Scores again, 13-10. Interesting, Liberty Benton fighting through this 
negative part of the match instead of calling timeout to talk things over. Erdeljack has to dive to make a play on that one. Tipped over by Graber, and then finding an open spot in the back was Lauren Gherkin. She knows where that open hole is in the back left, isn't she? Yeah, her court awareness is so fantastic. Sees the floor so well. Every time they've needed a point, she kind of delivers. I guess technically it's back right, but from our vantage point, it's back, it's back left. That's it over. Shot was by Weekert. And then Nestrick. Push to the back. They have found that back corner. This time it was Sophia Barbara. Well, if the defense is creeping up, go ahead and go dump it. Make them uh, spread the whole floor. Here's Lauren Gherkin to serve again. Back set. That ball's blocked. I think Nestrick got it. She was there along with Sophia Barbara. Either way, it's a Liberty Benton point, and we're back even at 13. Every time one team struggles to get out a little bit, the other one pulls them back. Lauren Gherkin serve. This is weaker. <laughs> Pretty happy celebration for her team. Has she gives them a one-point lead at 14-13. Now, Weaker does so many good things for the St. Mary's team. One of those players that can go all around. And Sylvia got to serve in the rotation. Nuss will set this ball. Annie Wells sets this one. And it was hit by DeHart. And then tipped over by Reagan Putoff. As Bryn Clark, can they get to it? And they do. Good play. Eagles keep the ball alive, partly from Hanny Wells' effort. And she got to that one, too. And it's going to be out of bounds. St. Mary's with another point, 15-13. Yeah, negates a great effort by Hanny Wells, digging things up. Back set hit by Nestrick. That's set by Erdeljack. Annie Wells will set in the middle where it's pushed over by Barbara. And then Clark hits it. Good point going here. And then the wind up and Corey DeHart put it into the net. And the Rough Riders score again to take a three point lead. Well, that's a huge serve by Weikert right here. Extend this thing to four. Instead, we're going to get a Liberty Benton timeout, and they trail 16-13 in set three. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard is sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. RV, Finley Truck and RV scoreboard shows St. Mary's with a 16-13 lead in our first time out. In this particular set, we'll go to Liberty Benton. And Sylvia Weekert will serve. Right to Lauren Gherkin. As Barbara hits, Nuss will set. And Barbara gets a block, score a point for her team and end the run. Cut the lead to two. That yeah, wind up being a really good timeout. Gets it back to two. Barbara does a great job in the middle with 56 blocks on the year. Adds to that total there. Here's Josie Todd. Audra Clark will set. That's blocked by Barbara again. And they get a point to St. Mary's. Riley Nestrick didn't know whether to play it or not and felt she had to and then wasn't able to do much with it. Here's uh, Bryn Clark to serve. And Nestrick was kind of caught in no man's land there. Yep. Bryn Clark, line drive serve. Henny Wells will set and Gherkin from behind the 10 foot line. And Audra Clark has to free ball it. 
Back set. That <laughs> kill goes to Sophia Barbara. We had the slide play. Oh, that is fantastic. And you got to have two parts of it, right? The great pass, which you got, and then the athleticism, the snap over top. Great work by Liberty Benton. Riley Nestrick serves. And he well sets. Barbara, that had that hit. And it's in. It is. Audra Clark found the back corner and scores a point for her team to push the lead back up to 18-15. Yeah, it's a tough call for Liberty Benton. Do you play it or you let it go? St. Mary's benefits. Back set, Barbara. See if St. Mary's can use it. And they do as the kill goes to Sierra Graber. And the mark, there's not a lot of free stuff at the net right now. Both teams doing a great job of contesting every single thing at the net. It's a four-point lead for the Riders as they serve. Dumped over by Lily Rammel. And it's long on the kill attempt. St. Mary's is up five. With each point St. Mary's gets, the bench gets louder and their fans get louder. That's very accurate, Miles. They have a, there's some real life right now, the people wearing black and gold over there for St. Mary's. Yeah, it, a lot of determination after that first set loss. They have come roaring back in set two and then definitely in set three. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. You can download the new app from our app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all the scores. This is kind of my St. Mary's week. I will be in St. Mary's on Friday night for the football game with Wasion. Yeah, and you've be. seen the Indians this year, haven't I you? Have. I have. I've seen the Indians a couple times. The last time we had them against Archbold, Archbold, it got the victory that night. But uh, if St. Mary's does not defend the pass, it might be a long night for them. I, I will tell you this, Miles. I've said this to, to many people the last several weeks. St. Mary's started 0-4. Yeah. And when you're 0-4, mm -hmm. put six wins in a row together. Your yep. coaching staff kept the team together. That's a really nice job by Bo Fry and company. I'll be interested how that game plays out uh, on Friday night. Here's service with up five by St. Mary's. Hanny Wells tries to play it over. And what do we got? Four contacts. Ball wasn't touched. So it's 21-15. St. Mary's trying to get a two set to one lead here. They're four points away from doing so as Kraft serves. Hannywell sets again. May shot is blocked. Now what? Ball got in the tape, didn't it? Or in the antenna, didn't it? 16-21. Here comes uh, Matty Amstutz in. Maddie's turn to serve. Line drive serve. Kill attempt was by Graber, but Liberty Benton's able to keep it alive. There are that, not a lot of yeah. kill attempts where people aren't getting their hands on it. Both teams working so hard at the net. Roll shot over by Graber. Ger Gherkin, did she get it in? She did. Looked at both line judges. Cuts the lead to four. Here's back to serve will be Maddie Amstutz again. And that kill, chalk it up to Sierra Graber. What a great job with the set. Held Liberty Benton. A little back to the outside. Nobody was there. Freed it up. Here's Sierra Graber to serve. Andy Wells has to work to keep that one in play. Set by Rammel. And that kill will go to Lindsey May. May's been efficient on that left-hand side for Liberty Benton. Back within four. Got to make a run here with the service game. Here's Hanny Wells. 
Her team trails by four, and her shot is into the net. St. Mary's up by five. They need two to take a two set to one lead. I think our spike sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. That ball was spiked and killed and put away by Sylvia Weaker. A weaker does what you should, right? A free one at the net. You get free pizza. What do you do with it? You eat it. 24-18. St. Mary's trying to take the set. And serve goes long from Ashley Nuss. It is 24 now to 19. And her counterpart at the libero position, Caitlin Erdeljack, will serve. Rambo will set. Clark hits. And Bryn Clark scores, and St. Mary's will take this set, 25-19. It is set four coming up right after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back to set four, and our set sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And Miles Holiday, we've been here now for, this will be our seventh set. And that Lee's Chicken is starting to sound really good. It does, man. doesn't it? <laughs> I wanted to watch the little Bluffton University basketball practice today. I ate lunch at, at lunch, dinner, slash, at 2 o'clock. Tell me, tell me rumbling, is it? Uh, you know what? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Well, we've had a nice buffet of volleyball here in front of us. We have. You know what I was thinking, too? And our, our, our good friend Evan Skilder is on the PA here mm -hmm. tonight, and Evan's a real shoe guy. He is. So I'm betting he is really loving Liberty Benton because those girls are shoe people. They are. Look at all the different colors. You know, sometimes, remember the back in the day when coaches, like, everybody had the same color oh, shoe? Yeah. and. Not a Liberty Benton, man. Our opening set went to Liberty Benton 25-20, but St. Mary's has taken sets two and three, both by a 25-19 score. And let's see if Liberty Benton, the 19-4 and, and 20th ranked Eagles, can get it back going here in set number four as Lauren Gherkin serves. Bryn Clark tips the ball to the middle of the floor. And then the kill attempt goes awry by Riley Nestrick, and St. Mary scores first. I don't know what that trainer did uh, for Lily Rammel and that lower body injury she had, lower leg injury she had, but she has come back in to move very well. Uh, adrenaline's a wonderful well, thing, too, isn't it? Here's Audra Clark, and she will serve. Set. Pushed by Barbara. And then free ball over. They kept it alive. Yeah, St. Mary's bench just explodes with that play. Did it ever. 2-0. And, and quite honestly, Liberty Benton's having trouble finding wood on the far side of the court. They that are. Ball just keeps running into arms over there. Yep, St. Mary's court coverage has been outstanding. Audra Clark will serve a second time. Good line drive serve from her. And then the serve went, the shot went long, and it's 3-0, Riders. Liberty Benton needs something positive to happen. Body language, all negative uh, right now for the Eagles. Uh, Uncle Mo is wearing a St. Mary's Rough Rider jersey mm. right now. And momentum is a huge thing in volleyball. It really is. Clark will serve. And that shot also went a bit long. It is 4-0. Coach Todd is up off the bench trying to exhort her team and get them going here a little bit. Riders playing well, and that serve will sail out of bounds, so it's 4-1, and Liberty Benton will have Josie Todd come in to serve. Set, hit. That hit was by Weekert. May pushed that one over. Weekert hit that one. Nestrick again, but Clark was there.
Don't know what was said. That ball actually fell on the wrong side, did it? My mistake. Not, I shouldn't sure say wrong side. I called it on the wrong side on Clark's attempted block. So it's 4-2. And that shot will go that time. Nestrick found the back end of the line that time. It's 4-3. Boy, Liberty Benton needed that yeah. in the worst way. They've hit a few balls past that line yeah. here in this set. That makes it 4-3. Todd serves. Did a good job of backing him up. They have to free ball the ball over. Set. Nestrick off a block. <laughs> Bryn Clark just took the ball and hammered it straight down. A violent exchange by Bryn Clark. 5-3. 5 4 on the miss to serve. Riley Nestrick to serve. Just thinking, Miles, no, nobody's complained about any referee call this evening. We've had this game has been very well officiated as the first one was. Consistent, too. Yes. Blocked out of bounds. So the Rough Riders will take a 6-4 lead, as you might expect when you get into the district level of play. Good serve. Chalk up an ace. Bryn Clark's second of the evening. It just ate up Josie Todd. Tried to retreat to get under it, couldn't get it done. And 7-5 is Brent Clark's service will go long on that time. And to serve will be Maddie Amstutz. Kill for Sierra Graber. Neither team has been able to put long rallies of points together, but St. Mary's gets a couple, and Liberty Benton does, gets one. You know, it's, it, it's been that kind of a... There's been that tipping point in the second and third set that St. Mary's has been able to grab. Ellie Kraft, serve goes deep. And there's Lauren Durkin, makes it 8-6. I like the set, go a little bit quick. St. Mary's has been very difficult at the net. You go quick, Gherkin has some time to deal with it. Hanny Wells will serve 596 assists this season. This will be a free ball. Let's see what Eagles do with it. That's what they do with it. Put the ball right into the hands of Cora DeHart. Let her put it away. Uh, DeHart struggled a little bit in the last set. Good to see her get going again. They're going to need her if they're going to come back and win this thing. Second service from Hanny Wells. That hit was by Steger. Steger again. No, I'm sorry, that was not Steger. Yeah, was Graber. And Gherkin. And we're tied at eight. The first four points of this set went the way of the Rough Riders. The last uh, several have gotten the way of Liberty Benton. We're tied at eight. That one just barely got over. And what do we got? Illegal contact. Yeah, I'm going to say it's a little yeah. bit of a lift. It was. Nine, eight. Sierra Graber's turn behind the service line. Dead play, diving play by Amstutz to keep it alive. And then couldn't get it over to Caitlin Rojack. She had to play it illegally the second time. So it's 10 8. Kind of the same path as what we had in sets two and three. One team goes up by one or two or three, and then the other one comes climbing back. Andy Wells will set. And didn't get over, four hits. So it'll be a three-point lead for the Rough Riders. 
Who's going to rally Liberty Benton? Somebody's going to have to step forward. Especially with this consistent play we're seeing from St. Mary's tonight. Ramble will set, slide, ball's blocked. Good play by uh, the, um, Lindsey May, I think. Yeah, so. Lindsey May read yeah. it correctly. They had been victimized by that same play earlier. Not this time, Lindsey May saw it right away. Ramble will set. It was touched, or was it? Oh, we got a person foot went all the way underneath the net. You can stand on that line, but you can't have a foot all the way across it. And so one of the riders got caught doing that. It's 11-10. That block will be credited according to Hart, and we're tied at 11. Oh, well, you see why they like the big freshman can play above the net, not to sing back up at 11. The last nine points have been three-point run, three-point run, three-point run. We've got it to 11 for both teams. Steger hit that one. And then that one will go for DeHart. Back-to-back -back points for her. Not growing up quickly. Hurdle Jack to serve. A fifth to fourth time. Little Jack with the dive. Illegally played. Yep, it was. Good hit by St. Mary's. Uh, Amstutz was not happy with that call. Went to go talk to the official. The teammates grabbed her and said, no, let's just keep playing. Ashley Nuss. Float serve over, and we'll get an ace out of it. 13-12, her first ace of this evening. 15 for her on the season now. We've played 25 points. Neither team has taken a timeout yet. And a little free ball over. Couldn't get to it to put the kill on it. Clark. When Clark's hit went long, and we're tied at 13. Yeah, Clark just couldn't get in a good position. Like the idea of going back corner just too long. Lauren Gherkin off the top of the net. Can they keep it alive? They do on the play by Ellie Kraft. But not that time. I think we've called Cord Hart's name a little bit in that right yeah, corner, haven't keep we? Keep going to her, right? Yeah. Hanny Wells knows who has the hot hand. Keep going. Liberty Benton's got a 14-13 lead. Ramble will set, but it's a free ball over. That missed. 15-13. I like Gherkin's demeanor. Just gets it and ready to go again. Timeout, though. Yep, our first timeout here in the set number four will be called by St. Mary's. They trail by two. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Finley Truck and RV is our scoreboard sponsor this evening. Your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. And that scoreboard shows Liberty Benton has come back to take a two-point lead at 15-13 and our first time out by St. Mary's in this second set. Oh, good play by Ashley Nuss to keep it alive. And Riley Nestor couldn't get her feet set underneath her. Like she stumbled or something right there. Yeah, it's almost like she rolled an ankle yeah. trying to get in a position, and that's a huge free point for St. Mary's. Liberty Benton still with a 15-14 lead. Back set, and that sets a little long, and the point will go to Liberty Benton, uh, to, to, the court, to the Rough Riders. A little joust at the net. Ties it at 15, so the timeout's done them good. And an ace, chalk it up for 
Audra Clark, her first of the evening and 17th of the season. Now, such a tough ball to play, isn't it? It's at top, rolls right over. Audra Clark. Nestrig. Bryn Clark, that's blocked. Reagan put off hit. Go to joust the net. Bryn Clark pinks it over. Nuss has to come up and get it. Bryn Clark's shot comes back at her. She plays it illegally. We're tied at 16. That's nothing you can do when it comes back at you mm. that quick. I'm just amazed she was able to get her yes, hands back absolutely. underneath it. Yep. Nestrick thought it was her turn to serve. It was not. It was Josie Todd. So good heads up play to stay in rotation. And good play by Coach Todd, too. She asked the official to check their lineup to make sure they had the mm -hmm. correct server. Good play on her part. And it is Josie Todd to serve. Well, she's been around the block a couple times. Yeah. And that goes out of bounds and will be a Liberty Benton point at 17-16. A very tightly contested set number four. Back set. Kill attempt by Weekert. And just going up and getting it with Sophia Barber directed it to the open area, 18-16. Now, sometimes you just got to jump above everybody else, right? Liberty Benton has biggest lead in this set has been two, as it is right now. A ball hung on the net. Here's Nestrick. And then the ball falls on St. Mary's side, so it is 19-16. Four consecutive points now for Liberty Benton. Timeout coming up. And we're going to get a timeout. This will be the Rough Riders' second timeout of this particular set. We have a spike sponsor this evening. That is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Appreciate their sponsorship this evening. Well, it's four points in a row. Here's a three-point lead in favor of Liberty Benton. They seem to have some juice right now. We'll see if St. Mary's can respond, Miles. Well, St. Mary's has responded all night long, they right? They have, yep. They have been tough to get the ball to the floor on. Their court coverage has been impressive. And even more pr impressive is their play at the net, just challenging absolutely everything. A year ago in the district semifinals, St. Mary's defeated Salina 3-2, to two, and that fifth set went 18-16 in favor of the Rough Riders. But they're down three in set four and tipping and fighting the sideline. What a great position of the ball by Glenn Clark. Well, how about the mindset? Well, what are we going to do coming out of timeout? Let's go to Brent Clark. Can't go wrong there. And serve is long. Makes it 20 to 17. And it's Riley Nestrick's turn behind the service line. Bryn Clark, and Bryn Clark hit it long. It is 21-17. Talked about not getting on top of it right there, Miles. Just sure did. Couldn't get on top of the ball that time. 21-17. St. Mary's does not have any timeouts remaining. And Bryn Clark waits on that one. And Gherkin just pushes it to the back line and missed the back line. She's been pretty effective at finding that spot, but not at that time. Now she knew it right away, too. Yeah. 21-18, and Bryn Clark serves. Gherkin from behind the 10-foot line. Graber. And then just free balled over, see how they use it. That was Barbara. 
And this is Graber through a block. St. Mary's will score to make it 21-19. Well, how big is this serve right here? Bryn Clark again. And that curveball action got out of bounds on her. 22-19, LB trying to make it a five-set match. A little sigh of relief after that one went long, went wide. Bryn Clark, a tremendous serve ace. Not that time. There's an ace right there. Chalked that one up to Amstutz. She had two aces in set number three and now one in this set to make yeah. it 23-19. Yeah, just ate up Nuss. Yep. Liberty Benton two points away from making it a five-set match. Almost got another one. Instead, the ball's popped over <laughs> into the wheelhouse of Lauren Gherkin. Uh, how about Gherkin with the six shooters after the free pizza at the net? <laughs> and here we are. We are at set point to send it to set number five. And that ace will do it. 25-19 Eagles. They take set number four, and we will go to set five. Coming up right after this, you're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. On to set five, we go. Our set tonight are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens. Mark Shine Miles Holiday. Oh, it's been a good one, hasn't it? Has it has been a good match. Mm. It's, a, it's a shame that somebody's going to go home here tonight. Uh, both of these teams, so outstanding. Shawnee won the opening match tonight over Salina, 25-17, 25-20, 25-23, and they will play the winner of this match on Thursday evening here at the Summer Center on the campus of Bluffton University. Great building, isn't it? Love this building. Oh, it's fantastic, yeah. isn't it? Earlier today, I was over watching Bluffton University men's basketball team practice in their old facility. Uh -huh. Yeah, what a great addition this one has been for the campus. and the students and athletes who compete here. Saw so the fact the Bluffton University of women's volleyball team was practicing when we first got here today. So great place we have here. Liberty Benton will serve first, it looks like, and that means Lauren Gherkin as we play this set to first one to 15, win by two. That's a good one to get started for Liberty Benton. And here we go. Lauren Gherkin to serve. Ramo will set. Clark just roll shots at that time. And pushing the ball in the back corner for a point is Sophia Barbara. Well, think about it. Liberty Benton has scored a lot just doing that exactly. back corner. Yes, sir. You wonder if uh, Julie Todd reminded her ladies of that during the timeout. Pushed the ball right back to that corner. We've had a lot of success. Ramble will set again. Clark is blocked that time. The point will go to Barbara. She's had two big plays here to start set number five. Now Barbara should start a roofing company because <laughs> she knows how to roof at the net. Our Finley Truck and RV scoreboard. It's 2-0 Liberty Benton early. And now three on the ace. Pretty good time for Lauren Gherkin to come up with her first ace of this evening, 3-0. There's a vital point right here for St. Mary's. Ramble will set. Bryn Clark hits the ball, but she does so to, Ryle, to Caitlin Erdeljack. And blocked, but blocked out of bounds. It is 4-0 in favor of the Eagles. Now, Gherkin is just giving St. Mary's fits right here. Good serve, but they keep it alive just barely. It's free balled over. Ertle Jack comes in to get it and then pushed an open area, but played that time. And free balled over. See if St. Mary's can use it. Slide. Clark hits. Back set. And point. 
DeHart has found a spot over on the right side of their formation. 5-0, and St. Mary's seeing a 5-0 deficit. They're going to take a timeout. Well, Miles, we talked about having our spike sponsor this evening, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. And we are seeing some spike action by Cora DeHart when she gets the ball on the right side of that, that formation. Yeah, I guess you can't call her a freshman anymore, oh, right? Sure. She is performing like an upperclassman. Yeah, the future is bright for her, but more bright is the present for her. They're, <laughs> they are playing fantastic. Uh, what a response by Liberty Benton first to get the fourth set, the fourth set number five, and then how about the start the set number five? Absolutely. We're pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at apple.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and on Apple TV. And Lauren Gherkin has been the only person to serve in this set, and she has served five consecutive points. And let's see if St. Mary's has a rally in them. They've done it earlier this evening, losing the first set, then winning the middle or second and third sets. And Bryn Clark, <laughs> that's who I'd go to. <laughs> I would serve her early and often, <laughs> especially if she's going to be violent in nature like that. Hard Audra Clark will enter. That means Audra will be in service, and then she will be the setter for Coach Yoder. As block is block, out of bounds. 6 1 Eagles. Now, Barbara has just been sensational here in this fifth set. St. Mary's had just come off a, a big point. Didn't want to get him on a run, so she denies them. Josie Todd, and Josie Todd serves the ball deep to Ashley Nuss. And Bryn Clark hits it off of Caitlin Erdeljack at 6-2. Stay with us when this one comes to an end. Miles is going to scurry down to the floor and get an interview before we wrap up our coverage this evening. Yeah, so many ladies to choose from. <laughs> Set, hit, block. St. Mary's makes it 6-3. Uh, Bryn Clark, the emotional leader for St. Mary's. As soon as they got that point, she was all in her teammates' face saying, let's go, ladies. Gherkin. From behind the 10-foot line, 7-3. Of course, we know that uh, there are plenty of young ladies on these two volleyball teams who would love to talk to Miles Holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Riley Nestrick. She gets to serve for Liberty Benton, up by four in this fifth set. Only because it means they're a player of the match. Clark then hits it to Nestrick. Audra Clark will set, and this time it's a free ball over by Ashley Nuss. And Bryn Clark blocked that attempt and came off of the hand of Sophia Barbara to make it 7-4. Uh, Bryn Clark gets the block and then she punches <laughs> and her hand hits the net. Liberty Benton wanted it to be a violation, but I think the officials rightly said, no, that's a celebration. Yeah. Here's Bryn Clark and it's her turn to serve. See how St. Mary's responds with her in the back row now, and she gets an ace. That's how they'll respond. That's her third ace of the evening. Gives her 46 on the year. That ties Lily Rammel, who also has 46, because she has three this evening. Arca Sr. Bring Clark from behind the 10-foot line. And then hit long and out of bounds by Lindsey May. It is 7-6, and it is Liberty Benton's turn to call timeout. Timeout WSN. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight has been sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. 
And we have gotten back to a 7-6 lead. That timeout went to Liberty Benton, so each team has used one in our fifth set. And Bryn Clark serves and serves long. And Liberty Benton's going to keep it alive. Clark will set. Block. And we're going to get an illegal contact against St. Mary's. 8 6. Well, just a bad spin after the right left contact. The rule book says you have to contact it with both hands at the same time and release it with both hands at the same time. As Maddie Amstutz serves for Liberty Benton. Let's see if Liberty Benton uses this one. It's blocked, but Kirkin gets it through the blocker for a 9-6 lead. Is there anybody that has a brighter smile after a kill? She does, doesn't she? Yeah, she <laughs> lights she, up. That's a good point. She does. And now St. Mary's will take their final timeout as they trail 9-6. And when you play to 15 miles, you just can't let it get away from you. That's hence the timeout. Yeah, people forget set number five a lot shorter. Yep. But uh, Coach Yoder, uh, say to your team, Hey, we got them right where we want them. We're down three. We, we've been doing this all night long, right? Let's just come back like we always do. If you look at how this particular set has gone, Liberty Benton scored the first five points. The largest St. Mary's run in this set has been three, and that is where they are right now. They trail by three. More volleyball action this week. We'll be in Kaleida on Wednesday night, Division Three volleyball, and then we'll be Division Four from Wapak on Thursday night. Those matches, the Wednesday match will air Thursday. The Thursday match will air Friday on at WOSN. And stay tuned for region football. And then next week we'll be in the region football, region volleyball, and more region football. So just stay tuned to WSN. But right now, stay tuned to see if St. Mary's can make a rally. It's blocked. I think Durkin got that one and sent it back. So it is now 10-6. Well, what do great players do in big moments? They, they step they forward, don't they? Big plays. Yeah, Gherkin has done just that. The player of the year in the BVC. She has put her stamp on this fifth set. It is 10-7. A year ago, Liberty Benton won this district and then went on to the regionals where they lost a five-set match to Gates Mill Hawkins. And the fifth set was 15-11. Mm. Trying to better that this year, but St. Mary is trying to get themselves into the district final. And that's tipped to the open area. And how many times have we seen that tonight? 11 7 Eagles. Many, many times tonight, Gherkin has picked the back corner. None bigger than that moment right there. Keeps the ball in her fingertips and just pushes it back in that area as Alyssa Handy Wells will serve. Trying to go up and put it away was Maddie Steger. She could not. It's 12-7. Eagles three points away for getting to a district final. Big hit that time by Graber. Nestrick's able to keep it alive. Let's see where they go with this one. Block. Oh, guess no, who? No, it got through. Oh, it did get it through. It got through. Yeah, it fell on the side of Liberty Benton. Good effort, but still the point will go to St. Mary's, and Sierra Graber will serve. And Lauren Gherkin. Ooh. Well, when you get to that point, you go to the money man. Ooh. Ooh, how about some hot has, sauce has, on that one? Has she had a wonderful fifth set? First she served five points, then she's been playing the net like crazy. See if she gets this ball. Nope, it will go over this time to Nestrick. Tipped over with one hand. Kirk hits it to the back corner, but she missed the corner that time. Wow. Had a lot of topspin on it. Couldn't spin it into the back corner, though. 12-9 no. Why not? 13-9. Why not? Yep. Go do it again. Uh, still a glimmer of hope, though, for St. Mary's. Here's Ashley Nuss. She tries to serve her team back into it.
Clark. Williams did not catch the back corner, and that means Liberty Benton is one point away from moving to a district final. Miles Holiday is one point away from running down and grabbing an interview. <laughs> Lauren Gerker started this set. And started so by scoring five points for her team. And it's tipped into the open area. Sophia Barbara found the back part of the court as they have many times. And her team will take a 15 to nine five set victory over the very game, St. Mary's Rough Riders. St. Mary's will drop to 14 and 10 on the season. They finish the Western Buckeye League at seven and three. Liberty Benton will go to 20 and four on this season. They were eight and four in the Blanchard Valley Conference. I want to thank our sponsors tonight. That has been Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Finley Truck and RV. We, RV, we appreciate their efforts. We thank the athletic director here. That would be James Grandy put all this together for us tonight. Jacob O'Neill did all the work here at the uh, Summer Center. And Nick Fraley will edit this together back at the station on Beatty Road. The Liberty Benton Eagles will move into the finals against Shawnee on Thursday evening. They did so. They won set five, 25-20. St. Mary's won sets two and three at 25-19. Liberty Benton came back to win set four at 25-19 and took the final set at 15-9. Congratulations, Liberty Benton. They move into the district finals on Thursday evening. Miles will be up with just a moment with an interview. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. I'm here with our player of the game, Lauren Gergen. Lauren, this was an incredible match, fifth set. A little bit of nervous going into that fifth set. What was said in the huddle? Well, we do this thing where we like to get down the first couple sets and not play to our potential. And coach and a couple of the leaders on our team just kind of said that um, we've made it this far. We're district semifinals. Like, it's go time. And we really took that to heart. And right when we came out there, I think we went on a 5-0 run right away. So that was good confidence booster. And then from there, it kind of got close. But then we eventually pulled out hard work. As the player of the year in the BBC, it looked like you really wanted to assert yourself in that fifth set. What was going through your mind going in there? Personally, I'm a senior. I'm never going to play volleyball again. So I just don't want it to end. I want to keep dragging this out as long as possible. So. Going into the fifth set, I was just thinking, like, set me up if I'm open. If I'm not, like, go somewhere else. Like, we're going to win. Like, I had confidence going into the fifth set, fifth set, and it was great that we executed. Uh, talk a little bit about your setter. Hanny Wells goes over 1,000 assists uh, for her career today. How effective is she? She's so effective. Um, she hurt her shoulder, but she's still great blocking in the front row. Um, her sets, she has a nice jump set, so even I don't sometimes know where the ball is going. It throws off the defense, which is good. And then her sets are just perfect. So if it's a good one, like I'm going to hammer it down. Well, you move on to the district final against a really good Shawnee team. What's it going to take for you guys to get to win? It's going to take confidence the whole entire game, playing like we played in the fourth and fifth set, playing like that the whole game. And I'm confident. We got it. Well, good luck to you. And it's going to be an amazing district final, to say the least. Two great teams in it. And thanks for watching on WOSN.